Hi, I'm Vicki Robinson. I'm a digital scrapbook designer. You can find me on my website at vicki-robinson.com. But I'm also a Mac girl, and I thought I would show you a cool trick for turning your boring blue finder fo uh, folder icons into something a little bit more attractive and maybe something that's actually useful in helping you find your digital scrapbooking supplies. I have two options for you, um, so let's take a look. So what you're looking at here is probably very familiar to you. It's a finder window with uh, in icon view with the standard blue Mac folder icons. So that's fine, but I want to show you how you could make this a little bit more interesting. What you see here is another window where I have replaced my blue folders with previews of the kits that are contained in that folder. And I did that um, in two different ways. One, using uh, the way Mac does it, right internally to Mac, and then secondarily, I've got another app I want to show you, a free app that will do the same thing without some of the steps you need to take um, if you do it through the Mac. But let's just start with the Mac. What I'm going to do is create a new folder so we can play. I have customized my Mac toolbar, Finder toolbar, with some icons so I can go right here to New Folder. If your Mac doesn't have these icons on top and you'd like a short video on how to customize this Finder toolbar, let me know. I can do a tutorial for you on that. But if you don't have this new folder icon here, just come up and say File, New Folder, and you'll see that Mac creates the standard blue folder for you. The next step in the process would be to go and get the preview that you want to use on this folder. So I've got one open here. I'm going to click on it, Command C to copy, come back to my blue folder here, and I'm coming up to the menu choosing File, Get Info. Now, if your toolbar is customized, you might have the little I in a circle Get Info button up here, and you can certainly use that as well. Now this doc, this pop-up window here just gives you information, basic information about the folder itself. What I want to do is click on this little icon right up here and then Command V to paste. And you'll see that this blue folder now has changed to the preview. So now I visually can see that this folder contains the age is a number, is just a number kit. Um, that's the first way you can do it in using uh, native Mac features. Now some people have said that they have trouble uh, when they just do, if they just find their image and do a, a command C on it and try to paste what they get in the little get info window instead of getting what they pasted, they get sort of a generic a JPEG icon. It just says JPEG on it with a little image of something on it. If that happens to you, let me show you um, another way you can accomplish the same thing. But before I do that, let me show you that if you decided you didn't want this icon to represent that folder anymore, you can just open the Get Info window again, click on that little image, and then press the Delete key, and you'll be returned to the standard blue folder. So let me show you um, what to do if what I showed you, clicking on the image, Command C, and then in the Get Info window, Command V doesn't work for you. The other way that you can do this is click on the image that you want to use for your folder, right mouse click and say Open With. And then come scroll all the way down to Preview, which is a native application um, in Mac that lets you sort of get a preview view of uh, your folder. So click on that. Another window will open. Here what you're going to do is Command A first to select all. Now do Command C to copy. And then I'm going to go back here to the Finder window. Come back to the blue folder that I wanted to uh, paste onto. Again, to the Get Info window, and then the process is the same. Click on the little icon, Command V to paste, and you should be good to go. Let me undo that. Let's just say I want to undo Command Z, because there's also another method that works really well. And let's open up a folder here. 
and let's say that we want to attach this icon here to this folder. What I can do is do uh, get info on the folder and then I can click and drag my preview onto this up here and then let go. Now again, some people have reported that that doesn't work for them, that they have to open uh, preview in preview, in the preview app, and then command A, command C to paste. But one of these three methods should definitely work for you. So rewind and watch the video again to see those steps again. But they're all very cool ways of giving you a visual representation of what's in your file folders. Now, here's another way to use this same idea here. Here's a brush file, my Artie, brush, my Artie Bits brushes. And you know that the ABR file for Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, there's no program that can show you what's inside of that .abr file. So for if some reason you're wondering what's in this folder, you can use this same idea to put the preview of what's in the brushes and make that an icon for this file as well. It's not just for folders. It can be on application files as well. It won't affect the way the ABR file opens in Photoshop or Elements, but it does, does give you a quick way to see what's inside. So again, let me just show you. I'm going to use the Get Info window on the brushes file. Always get info on the file that you want to attach the photo to, the image to. And now in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag, or you command C and then command V on top of here. So let me show you where that's helpful. Let's say that I wanted to search for brushes. And we know uh, that brushes are a dot a B R. So in Mac Spotlight, you can type dot A B R. Oops, I need to type it all. Oh, dot A B R. And then all the brush files on your computer. Now, don't laugh because I'm a brushaholic. I'm the brush queen. Um, I have hundreds and hundreds of brushes. I actually have 25, 3,500 brushes. But you see, now I can see because I have applied that image to all of my ABR files, or to these at least, I can now see, oh, this is Artie Brushes 1. This is what's in Artie Brushes 2. This is what's in Artie Brushes 3. So it's a really simple way to organize, to do, it's not really organizing, but it's to give you visual clues as to file that you're working on. So in this case, I wouldn't have to go and open up the folder um, that Artie Brushes 2 is in to see what's in there, to see the previews. But let me just show you this other Mac tip while we're here. If you click on a folder, um, and you can say right mouse click, show in enclosing folder. And that's actually opening up the folder that contains that ABR file, the product preview, and the actual pings. Okay, got that? So rewind the video um, to do these steps again as you want to try. But I wanted to show you also how you can do um, this with an application I found in the App Store. It's free. Let me go down here and look at it find for you. In the Mac App Store, you want to look for Image 2 Icon. I-M-A-G-E 2 Icon. It's a free app. And it creates those previews, those puts those previews on your folders in a lot fewer steps. So if you're having trouble making what I showed you just work, you might want to consider that. Plus, if you upgrade and spend ten dollars, all of nine ninety nine, uh, to get the pro features, you get a couple more cool f features that I can show you. So once you've installed that, let's go ahead and close this out now, and then come back here. I'm going to open the image to icon app. And when you do that, you'll see that it, I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to put this here. I'm in full screen here. Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, let's take this out of full screen so you can see it better. You open up this window here. This is the image to icon app. And let's go back into, say, this folder right here. Let's say I want to assign this preview to this folder over here. Click and drag 
from the Finder window, whatever image you want to be on the folder, click and drag it over to this window here. A little drawer will open up and you'll have a bunch of options as to which way this folder is going to look, how it's going to look once you've pasted the image on top of it. Now some of these, I have to be honest with you, I paid for the pro version and I don't remember which of these icons are included in the free version and which are you have to pay for, but you can see there's a whole bunch of different options. Once you've settled on one, you now click and drag the folder on top of this window here and then watch what happens in a second. This folder will switch to match this icon. Very cool. Now again, if you don't like that, you can do the same thing you did before. You can say get info and then press the delete key up here and your window will return to normal. So you don't lose any of the functionality that's within the Mac. It just makes it simpler to do. And you can do that with the free version um, and you can choose from whatever options they give you in the free version. One of the reasons that I went and paid the $9 for the $9.99 was because they got a lot of different options here. So what I did is, remember how I told you you could um, put this icon on your ABR files? Well, I did the same thing on my glitter, um, the um, my purchased glitter styles all styles end with a dot ASL. You can see that here. So I went and uh, took the preview image from the designer's glitter file and I used that and I actually picked something different. This is the reason I paid for it because they had these really cool ones. I could do this, say this round one um, when I pasted the image on here. Here, I'll show you how to do that. Let's open this in containing folder. Here is the preview from Studio Flurx from her product. So I click and drag it on here. Then you pick one of these and I chose the round one just because I wanted to be able to differentiate it say between a file folder that contained product. This is a this is an actual application file. Click and drag it over here and now my .asl file has um, it, I can tell that that is a glitter.asl and I can just double click to, to open that in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. So when I search, let's just say I wanted to use uh, Mac search capabilities, I can click, I can search for glitter space dot ASL because all ASL, all styles and glitter is a style and in dot ASL, I can now search for all my glitter. Gee, I knew I wanted to use this glitter, but I couldn't remember which file it was in. Now that I have got these previews attached and I know how to use Mac Spotlight to search, I can very easily find the uh, style or the brushes or the kits that I'm looking for. I hope you'll give this a try if you like to find your digital scrapbooking supplies visually or if it helps you to see a visual representation of what's in all those kit folders and brush folders and elements folders and things like that. I'll leave a link to Image to Icons, the App Store, uh, down below in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or a like. Leave any questions you have in the comments and be sure to click on the red subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my YouTube tutorials. Thanks for watching. Thank you.